transform effects for elements, a new feature recently introduced to the builder within Brizzy WordPress as well as Brizzy Cloud. Select an element, in this case, I'll click on the picture, go to settings, effects, styling, and then you'll see we have basic, advanced, and transform, and this is where we go to the transform area. Five ones we can work with, we have rotate, offset, skew, scale, and flip. I'll select flip, and the moment I select it, you'll not really see anything happen. In fact, you will see nothing happen, and it's because you still need to make some settings to it. Select it again, go to settings and your effects, and we hop on back to transform, and click on flip this time, and you will see the settings over here. Before going to the anchor point, you have the option to activate whether you want to flip it horizontally or whether you want to flip it vertically. I'll select vertically. You'll see it turns it upside down. I'm always confused with this. For me, I feel it turned it on a horizontal axis, but anyway, flip horizontally. And I can see how people can argue that one is horizontal, but again, for me, it feels like the axis is vertical. I always get confused with this, even in apps like Photoshop and other editors. Now, let's click on flip vertical because this is a big transformation, easy to view what we are doing. And now you can see you have the anchor point here. As I click on the anchor point for the X, you're going to see nothing happens because this is connected to horizontal. When I go to Y anchor point, you will see the moment I select top, it's going to flip it to the top. And if I click the bottom, it will flip it to the bottom. So you have those options there. If I deactivate the vertical flip, let's flip the horizontal. And now when I select left, you will see it flips to that side and to the right. Over here, it's now behind this image. You can set the Z index to bring it back. Let's put it back in the middle. And this way you can go through the others. Let's look at something more usable. I'll just go back to effects and transform, and we choose scale. Again, nothing is happening. I hope that box can stay open. And select scale. You see we have preserved size, scale the X index, or on the X index, scale on the Y index, and then you have your anchor points again. Now, what I want to do is I want to increase this image, but I want to lock it down here in the bottom right corner. So my anchor point, I will set my X anchor point to the right and my Y anchor point to the bottom. So I lock it here to the right and the bottom. And now I will scale the X to the right. And this looks a little bit weird because I have different values. So you have to make sure that these values are the same or select preserve size. And once you do that, you will see it will keep the ratio consistent. If I want to scale it to the other side, let's say to the bottom, then I will go to the left, anchor it there and the top, and now it will scale like this. Or let's say I want to scale it to the bottom left, then I anchor it to the right and the top, and then it will scale this way. Then I can go to my text over here and I can increase, and I can go to advance and increase my Z index to bring that on top of this image. Nice little effect. This is a great way if you want to scale things outside of the borders. These are the transform features that we now have for many elements within the builder. For more news and updates, remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.